Hey, welcome back and in today's video, PUBG files a lawsuit against Fortnite. Why are we just now hearing about it? It was filed in January. A lot of people are like, PUBG is just jealous of the success of Fortnite. It is clearly not a copy. But did you know that PUBG has an ongoing lawsuit for the same thing already? This one's a doozy. Strap your seatbelts in. You're gonna wanna listen. <laughs> so one of the main reasons that we have not heard about this is because this lawsuit's not going on in the United States. It's going on in Korea. That's right, Korea. The Korea Times posted on June 2nd of 2018 by Jun Ji Ha, Korean game developer PUBG, a subsidiary of Bluehole, has filed copyright violations against US based Epic Games, asking a court to determine whether the latter's Fortnite was copied from the former's Player Unknown Battlegrounds. We filed the suit to protect our copyright in January, they announced officially. Now, I know you guys are thinking, Fortnite is a completely different game. It is not copying PUBG. How could they even think that? And then with the uh, also grounds of the other lawsuit for the same exact thing against NetEase. That's right, NetEase, which I will show you that in just a second. It seems like PUBG is just a little bit salty because what about Arma? What about H1Z1? What about those games? They were there long before Fortnite. Are they going to get a lawsuit as well? It may not be what you think. When Fortnite was first launched, the game only had the Save the World mode, at which gamers built walls and defended it. But in September, the firm added the free-to-play Battle Royale portion of the game, provoking a plagiarism controversy and allegations that it copied Battlegrounds, items, and user interface. So, just to be clear, PUBG is not saying that they own Battle Royale mode, no. But they're saying that rather there is intellectual property theft of certain UIs in the interface and items and things of such nature. Things that when you use them, it, it kind of reminds you of the familiarity of Battlegrounds. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Over on the Ripzo Twitter, we have the official document court case where PUBG is versing net ease. And you, I'll put that link in the description so you can check that out. The reason I'm focused on this lawsuit against uh, NetEase is because, uh, number one, the current lawsuit is in Korea and we're not able to view that court case, but I'm still looking for ways around that. If I do find it, I will update you with the official Korean court documents. Now, this lawsuit against NetEase is copyright infringement on their mobile platform because you know PUBG released that mobile game and then NetEase released another game that was exactly like them and they wasn't having it so they went at them. Now these highlights of what, where the UI interfaces that they feel NetEase copied are probably around the same grounds of what they are using to identify the copyrights in Fortnite. So right off the bat, before you think PUBG doesn't have a case, you might want to look at this. This is the map that PUBG uses. It's their, their unique identifier for their game. Now, in this map, before you start, you're flying across in an airplane, like so, before being dropped out to where you can float to your destination. This is uniquely identifiable to PUBG. This is one of the things that they're going after Fortnite for. Yes, they do have a case. And they're no stranger to the rain since they have this net ease uh, lawsuit going on. And let me tell you, they are winning this lawsuit against net ease. You can see that. And this isn't the only example that Fortnite has stolen from them. They go on to list several other examples. One thing that I want to note, here's another example between Battlegrounds game and NetEase's game, which you can obviously see uh, is very similar to Fortnite. And more than likely, Fortnite did take this from them. Um, this is the uh, energy drink in Battlegrounds, and this is the sports drink from uh, NetEase's game. And you can see that they feel like the experience felt by players in Battlegrounds, the energy drink, uh, is the experience that's being the intellectual property that's being stolen because these are copyrights uh, visual copyrights 
in uh, PUBG that Fortnite has where you you pot you drink the thing and you move forward that is uniquely identifiable to battlegrounds uh sad to say but uh as battlegrounds is winning this net ease campaign um they they have really strong uh case against fortnite and i think the reason that like i said this is a korean court in korean court it's going to be hard for us to see updates in this but we are going to be looking very closely to this and i will find a way i'm going to talk to some people i'm going to find a way to get more information on the korean lawsuit and i know what you're thinking if if PUBG does win fortnite will be gone and you might love that game uh many of you played fortnite might have never even played battlegrounds why can't they just all get along it's not copying there's no way but let me tell you something unbeknownst to a lot of you guys in uh that are, are, are not familiar with this um, you can copyright uh, sounds, you can copyright uh, colors, you can copyright jingles, you can copyright visual pieces uh, that are identifiable to the Battlegrounds game. So in this case, with the energy drink and they're drinking it, uh, and the sounds for it, they're, this is a copyright of the experience felt by players in Battlegrounds, and this is one of the, the points that they will be going after Fortnite for. And you might be thinking that, uh, okay, well, obviously PUBG is a little bit salty and they're and they're just using this to go after uh, games because the games are becoming more successful. Um, but that's not the case. As you can see, this is the official search for all things related to PUBG. Uh, there are only two cases in America that pop up for PUBG suing other companies. And that is under this PUBG Corporation and PUBG Santa Monica. They're actually both in the same case. They're both the same company and they're both against NetEase. But interestingly enough, if you thought PUBG was just being salty at other video game creators and seeing in the last, uh, the, the whole history of it, they've only ever sued one company. Wonder what happens when we put in Epic Games. 10 years in the past 10 years there are 34 results where epic games is involved in some sort of lawsuit against another company for copyright infringement and i really got thinking about this and it makes a lot of sense to me because fortnite w was a free-to-play game what if and this is just a speculation what if fortnite knew that they were stealing these ideas and they wanted to make the game free so that way if they were involved in a lawsuit, if they were found guilty, the only thing they would have to do is change a little bit of the visuals in the intellectual property. That's right. That's what I'm saying. The storm cloud shrinking um, could be easily changed. The, the small mechanic could be altered because we know that the Fortnite map is ever evolving. It could be a unique way that they created the game because they knew that they were copying the game it would be easy for them to change out of it but they may go forward with the lawsuit because why not they might win it's a good 50 50 chance there's no real uh telling of what will actually happen but it's something to think about so i went to look and see if there was what american uh information there was about this because this is a korean controversy and there's not really that much we can see here on gamespot after suggesting it might take action the developer of pubg has filed a lawsuit against creator of fortnite on the ground of copyright infringement pubg corp which is based in korea filed its lawsuit against u.s based epic games with the aim of getting the courts to decide if fortnite represents some kind of copy of pubg and it really doesn't have uh too much information i'm actually giving you more information than you've probably heard about and i do want to point this out um a lot of people are saying that pubg uh cannot claim these uh copyrights because they did not create battle royale there was arma there was h1z1 there's other things a lot of people don't know that actually player unknown had a lot to do with uh, those other games as well and though he cannot uh say he is the creator of battle royale because there were games that created battle royale and actually battle royale is based off of a japanese game and actually a J am, am i not correct when i say it's based off of a japanese movie yes that's right a japanese movie where it was a battle of a battle royale and then many uh games created similar aspects of that but the thing is is they're not saying that they own the battle royale mode they're saying that 
there are certain aspects as the energy drink, the shrinking uh, map, the different aspects of that, which they do have uh, intellectual property ownership of that Fortnite and other games have taken a hold of. And to be completely honest with you, they are correct on that. And if proven in a court of law, all Fortnite would have to do is just change a couple things because hey, the game's free anyway. They're not losing much. <laughs> And people are not gonna leave Fortnite at this point. It's one of the world's most popular video games. And I know the live streaming industry on Twitch, on Mixer, are are battling about, about this issue and topic hardcore. I, I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna hear from everyone. Because whether you're a fan of Fortnite, whether you're a fan of PUBG, we can agree on how interesting this is. But there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. It's certainly something to talk about. Some good tea, as they would say. And I know that you're repping if you're not repping your Greg. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe with notifications turned on. Be in the comment section to every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there. And the rest of the Rep Squad community is going to be there. And I expect to see you there too, because this channel loves you.